What happens if we don't sleep for days? We've always heard about the importance of sleep. But what I want to know is what happens if we don't? And how far can we actually go without it? In 1959, one man had the idea of staying awake for a total of eight days and eight hours for charity. Send your dimes and dollars to your local March of Dimes headquarters. Help make this the victory March of Dimes. Not only did he do it, but he also broke the world record and at the same time, defying the advice given by experts who were concerned for his well-being. And the experts were right because not only did he experience terrifying visions during the stunt, but it also destroyed his life. The man I saw the first morning that he began this, when he was waving at everybody to the class winners and smiling and laughing and joking with us, after the 200 hours had become a changed individual. The rules were simple. Peter Tripp had to stay awake for eight days and eight hours straight in a transparent booth in the middle of Times Square. He only had to spin records for three hours per day, and outside of that, could have showers and meals at a nearby hotel. To aid him in his stunt, caffeine, amphetamines, and benzedrine were administered to keep him awake throughout. As you can imagine, such a unique and daring stunt conducted in the middle of a bustling city garnered hundreds and thousands of onlookers. Peter Tripp was already an entertaining DJ with a cheerful, upbeat demeanor on air, but witnessing the number one DJ gradually lose his composure as time went on made it much, much more interesting. In the beginning, everyone could feel the energy he brought to his audience. But as time went on, it became harder and harder for Tripp to maintain the same level of enthusiasm. To keep a close eye on him, the researchers worked in shifts, examining his vital signs, brain waves, and psychological state every single day to closely monitor the changes he experienced. As tough as it was for Peter Tripp to keep his eyes open, it wasn't easy for the researchers either as he would try to find the smallest excuse to close his eyes, even for a brief moment. They wouldn't leave him out of their sight, even accompanying him to the toilet. It certainly made him angry, but there was no other choice. Otherwise, the experiment would be all for nothing. Before we move on to the third day, where things started to shift, we need to understand why the researchers were so against his stunt in the first place. And to answer this question, we need to look at past research on sleeplessness. The earliest study on sleeplessness had three men stay awake for 90 hours. They found a significant decrease in focus, reflexes, and memory, with the most concerning effect being vivid hallucinations. Animal studies on sleep deprivation were even worse. Tests on dogs and cats show that all of them died within two weeks of sleeplessness. Adding to these concerns, one of the researchers monitoring Tripp's progress had troubling experience treating American pilots who were tortured by sleep deprivation after being captured by Chinese communists during the Korean War in 1953. I felt that some of the Air Force POWs had not recovered their former personality function after they returned. Uh, they told me that they weren't themselves. And we can definitely see the first signs of how dangerous this experiment is when the third day arrives. The researchers noticed that there was a dramatic drop in his body temperature. He started to become irritable and he became aggressive to everyone around him. Even his barber, whom he had known for years, was left crying because of him. He could also see his body temperature changing as he started wearing a warm coat and hat. What the researchers noticed was that the lower his body temperature went, the crazier he got. On the fourth day after he finished spinning records, he walked into his hotel room to shower and change. When he opened a chest of drawers for his clothes, he saw flames shooting out of the open drawer. 
he was so shaken by what he saw, and it was so unexpected that he thought the scientist had set the fire to test him and make him drop out of the experiment. He started to become paranoid, believing that everyone was conspiring against him. Even his wife, who visited him every single day to make sure he was doing well. And the worst of all were the terrifying hallucinations he experienced. It was as though he were having dreams. And some of them with even a nightmarish quality, even though he was awake. He started seeing spiders in his shoes and mice and kittens scampering around the makeshift studio. He mistook a coat rack for an intruder and tried to attack it. His delusions were so severe that he began to lose his grip on reality. He became so disconnected from everything that he didn't know what he was doing, where he was, or even who he was. Because he started to believe that he was someone else pretending to be Peter Tripp. When one of the researchers who was wearing a coat approached him, Tripp thought he was an undertaker who had come to bury him. He immediately ran out of the door and into the streets. No longer thinking straight, the researchers had to tackle him for his safety as he ran into heavy traffic. They had to drag him back into the booth. At first, the medical team didn't have a clue about the hallucinations he was experiencing. However, when they monitored his sleep cycle, they made an eerie discovery. Normally, when we sleep at night, we go through five stages of sleep and we dream mostly in the fifth stage. Tripp's brainwaves showed that although he was awake, the hallucinations he saw occurred during the moments when he would have been experiencing REM sleep. In other words, his dreams and reality had merged with one another. But luckily, that was the worst he had experienced because on the night of January 28th, Tripp achieved his goal and broke the world record. After staying awake for 201 hours, Tripp finally laid his head on a pillow and slept straight for 13 hours and 13 minutes. Although he said his delusions were gone the moment he woke up and felt unaffected, the people around him didn't think so. Even the researchers agreed that the man they met at the start of the experiment was different from the man they saw after the stunt. In the months that followed, Tripp seemed to be plagued by bad luck. His marriage deteriorated and ended in divorce. His career also took a downturn as he fought with his boss and lost his job due to a payola scandal. He tried to re-establish himself in the world of radio by working at other stations but could not recapture the success he once had. Eventually, he ended up as a salesman drifting from town to town across America. Even his title as the longest man to stay awake was taken over six years later by a 17-year-old who stayed awake for a staggering 11 days. Truth be told, after Randy Gardner's world record, many researchers started to doubt that what Peter Tripp went through was solely due to sleep deprivation. Gardner accomplished his feat without using any stimulants to keep him awake. While Gardner did experience hallucinations like Tripp, they were not as extreme. It's likely that what Tripp experienced was influenced by the drug he took, or it could vary depending on the individual. But nobody knows for sure. Whatever the case may be, Peter Tripp's stun still fascinates us to this day and highlights how little we understand about the world of sleep.